I've told and shown you so many times how to create various effects in the Movavi video editor and every time there are people in the comments who are amazed by what can be done in just a few minutes. And that's why in this video I'll explain and show everything that Movavi Unlimited can do, where to click and so on, so let's go. All right, let's start with the basics. Here we've opened a video suite. The first thing you notice is the panel with your favorite apps. I have a video editor, converter, screen recorder, photo editor and a few more apps. To add new ones, click on the plus sign then choose an app from the list and press OK. And there, the app is now in my favorites. Also, if we look further down, we'll find recommended apps for me to use and below that, recommended effects. Recommendations are automatically generated based on how you use the video editor. The program saw that I make YouTube videos and suggested a photo editor for me to create thumbnails. It also saw that I often create effects myself, so it recommended a blogger effects pack. And if I scroll even further, you'll see a list of recommended online courses also straight from this launcher. We can go to the store and explore the list of programs, effects, stock files and online courses we might want to purchase if needed. Course. Now I suggest we move to one of the activities you'll be doing regularly, converting and enhancing videos. For this, we click right here and our converter opens up. To add files, we either press the plus sign or simply drag and drop the necessary files into the program window. I will do it through the plus sign and add this video with kittens. As you can see, the video resolution is 720p. By default, the program offers to compress the video file, but I will slide the toggle to the right, keeping almost the original size. If we click on the video itself, we can watch it. From the viewing window, I can press on scissors, which will open a simplified editing window where I can easily and simply cut the video into segments, trim it, add a watermark and subtitles. I can add various effects, manually adjust basic parameters such as brightness, contrast, hue, saturation. Quick access to these parameters is essential when you don't want to open the video editor just to adjust the color. And of course, you can normalize the volume, increase it and remove noise. Now to to the most exciting part, upscaling the video. For this, click here on the AI upscaling button, press the plus sign and add a file. I will import the video with kittens here, select a 4x upscaling and wait a few minutes. This video is short, so the upscaling will be quick. And boom, the video is done. Just look, on the left is the old video and on the right is the new one. It's crazy how the video didn't get any worse or grainier after getting four times larger. We see all the same details and even the color has improved. And the video's metadata confirms the new resolution. Now, let's move on to the Movavi video editor itself. The first thing we see is the file import window. Below it are four buttons, video recording, screen recording, audio recording, and slideshow wizard. I believe that quick access to these features is a great feature not even available in professional software. Next to the import tab is the tab for the project files where you'll find all imported files. Further to the right are sample videos which you can use in your videos. The selection is quite large and additional videos can always be purchased in the effects store. The next tab is background and a little further to the right is intro videos. To use such an intro video, you simply drag it onto the timeline, double clicking on it makes it editable. I will replace the text, obviously, and I can also change the color, make it bold, change the font and so on. These intro videos already have all the animations pre-made with perfect timings and pace and all you have to do is replace the text, super easy and simple. Under the import icon is a tab with music and sounds. It's all very simple here. In the music section, you'll find tracks that you can use without violating copyrights. This is especially useful for novice YouTubers who haven't purchased a subscription to music services. In the tab with sounds, there is a vast array of various sound effects. Under the music section, there is a text section. All the provided samples are pre-animated. Again, all you need to do is change the text. I will quickly drag this text onto the timeline and add the background. Double clicking on the text block opens the editing window. I'll change the text to Movavi. Increase the size a bit, choose another font and color. To make the animation faster, I just go to clip and drag the animation speed slider to the right. So as you can see, it's all very simple. That pretty much encompasses the essence of the Movavi video editor. It is super straightforward. And Movavi video editor is a part of the Movavi Unlimited, which is a unique annual plan that combines the best of Movavi in one intuitive platform. Video editing, 
convert in videos, edit in photos, and so on. Besides, Movavi Unlimited opens up a year of unlimited access to all sets of the Movavi Effects Store. Preparing source files, visually designing whole videos, retouching photos, each stage can be done with just a few clicks. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan is a deal that's too good to pass up. But if you feel like focusing on video and photo editing only, just give Movavi Video Suite plus Photo Editor a shot. Its price is 35% lower than Movavi Unlimited, but the creative potential is almost the same. So don't miss out on these offers and choose your fighter in the description. Under the text section, there are transitions. Adding transitions is very straightforward. Just choose the transition from the list and drag it onto the timeline. To make a transition faster or slower, click on the transition block itself and then drag its edges left or right. The number of transitions in the video editor is huge. You'll always find a transition for your needs. And if the built-in transitions are not enough for you, the effects store is always ready to help. Below the transitions, there are filters and effects. And this is where things get very interesting. As you can see, there are three sections filters, overlay effects, and LUTs. I will import it into the program and drag it onto the timeline. To apply an effect, simply drag it onto the video. Effects, of course, can be combined. By clicking here on the effects button, I can adjust the parameters of each effect. Everything is done in such a way that you only need to change one parameter, the intensity of the effect. Look, using the glowing edge filter and the pop art filter, we got this interesting, almost comic-like effect. In addition to such filters, there are also overlay effects. These include various stars, patterns, and even an imitation of the light from a window. In the LUT section, there are pre-made color grading presets. If you shoot your videos with a camera, you know what this is. And if you need more LUTs, you can always upload your own or download from the effect store. Another interesting section is stickers. Here you can find both simple and animated stickers. Animated stickers are especially interesting since small animations create a ton of problems for young editors. And here you can simply drag them onto the timeline and that's it. The most interesting stuff is in the final section with tools. Here you'll find both video and audio tools. Let's go over them. Color adjustments, contrast, saturation, white balance can all be set automatically. Crop and rotation, easy to grasp. Position, super clear as well. The next one is quite interesting, pan and zoom. Here we can find pre-made camera animations. If you have a static shot just by dragging such an animation onto the timeline, you can make the video more dynamic. Next, stabilization. The name speaks for itself and after that, animation. Anyone who watches our videos is very familiar with the animation section as we've spent a lot of time there creating the cool effects. In the highlight and conceal section, we can find blur and pixelation options. The chroma key section is also familiar to regular viewers. By clicking on the color icon and tapping the eyedropper on the color in the video, we can easily remove that color entirely. Our result looks a bit odd, but that's because the cats are on a light background and their fur lets light through. Any algorithm would struggle to cut out the kittens in this video. The next item, background removal. Here we have two options to choose from, quick and precise. I always recommend choosing precise as the results will be best. And one of the last items on the tool list is scene detection, which is necessary if you are dissecting already edited videos. The logo section speaks for itself and slow motion just slows down the video. Moving on to the section working with sound, we see a similar list audio effects, equalizer, noise removal. The equalizer has several built-in presets for different situations. Noise removal, I have already shown how effective it is, all thanks to artificial intelligence. To learn more about the next items on this list, watch our recent video on voice editing. All these tools are very easy and simple to use and learning them won't be a problem. The video editor is very easy to master and works quite fast. And I do my editing mostly in the Movavi video editor. It's much simpler and faster for me to do this way than using a professional program. And if you want to learn how all these tools can be used practically, watch our video tutorials here and here. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.